Welcome. This is Majesty's Sussex Report. I'm Antonio, and this is our Mindful Meditation Series. Today, our meditation will be on the theme of staying positive and embracing the power of positive affirmations. I'd like to say thank you to all of you um, for your well wishes in regards to um, my Montezuma revenge uh, stomach issues. I will say this has been quite a challenge um, to get better. I feel like I'm slowly getting better, but um, boy, have I learned my lesson. And um, Thank you all for the recommendation. Um, at OI put that back 7361. Um, tell the truth, shame the, you know what. Thank you for the recommendation on the um, castor oil. My mom also suggested the same thing. So I said to her, where am I going to get castor oil in Guatemala? I was like, um, but she recommended the same thing. And she also recommended that I sort of massage my stomach because she thinks it's um, not aligned properly. So, and someone else recommended uh, to take uh, olive oil and do the same kind of massage and um, a lot other recommendations that you folks have um, sent thank you so very much and thank you so very much for being so kind um, you are completely allowed to make fun of me completely uh, because I, I, I really don't know what was well I do know I was just hungry and just wanted to eat um, I'm telling you, the monsters in my in my stomach were controlling my thinking that day. Uh, anyways, uh, once again, thank you. Uh, so let's start um, our episode for today. And um, as I said, let's 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 find a comfortable um, position or place. Um, so either be seated or lying down in a quiet space where you wouldn't be disturbed. All right. So as always, I will give us 60 seconds. If you need to 
go grab something, get some water and all of that. So our 60 seconds starts now. Welcome back. I trust that you are comfortable. And um, so let's start. Close your eyes gently when you're ready. And let's take a deep breath in. And then slowly exhale out. We'll do that for three Repetitions, let's do that again. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Our last one, deep breath in. Exhale out. Allow your body to relax with each breath that you continue to take, feeling lighter and more at peace. As we start to settle in, I invite you to focus on grounding yourself. Imagine roots growing from your body down into the earth, anchoring you securely. With each breath, feel the connection between yourself and the world around you growing stronger. As Maya Angelou once said, stand up straight and realize who you are. That you tower over your circumstances. I love that quote. Let this thought resonate with you as you continue to breathe deeply. Let's begin to do our body scan. And we'll begin at the top of your head and slowly move your attention down your body. Notice any areas of tension or discomfort. Don't try to change anything. Just observe, recognize, acknowledge. As you bring awareness to each part, mentally repeat, 
I release. I release. Let go of any tightness and allow ease to replace it. Remember the words of Andre Lord. Caring for myself is not self-indulgence. It is self-preservation. And that is an act of political warfare. Hmm. Care for your body gently and with intention. Let's begin to shift our focus to positive affirmations. Positive affirmations are powerful tools for maintaining a positive mindset and overcoming negative thoughts. I will guide you through a few affirmations and I encourage you to mentally repeat them after me. Or if you wish, you can also use your external voice and say it out into the universe. Our first affirmation. I am worthy of good things. And I embrace new opportunities. I am worthy of good things and I embrace new opportunities. Affirmation number two. I am resilient, strong, and brave. I am resilient, strong, and brave. Our third affirmation. My potential is limitless and today I claim my space. My potential is limitless and today I claim my space. Fourth. I am in charge of how I feel today. And I choose happiness. I am in charge of how I feel today. Then I choose happiness. That affirmation is adapted from a philosophy shared by the one and only Beyonce. And affirmation number one was inspired by Michelle Obama. Our second affirmation is sort of echoing the spirit of Harriet Tubman. And our third, those are in the words of the one and only Oprah. Feel free to Feel the weight of these words as you say them to yourself. Let them, let them sink in. 
Let them sink into your consciousness and resonate in your being. I am worthy of good things and I embrace new opportunities. I am resilient, strong, and brave. My potential is limitless, and today I claim my space. I am in charge of how I feel today, and I choose happiness. And now we are going to visualize. We're going to start to head to that place. Maybe that place that we've gone to before in our mindful meditation. Or maybe this time you can create a whole new one. But we're going to visualize and we're going to bring ourselves to that place that brings us peace. So either a place, space that we already are aware of, or we can start creating it, visualize it. It could be a real place or an imaginary or imaginated, um, imaginated, sorry, imagined um, sanctuary. Beautiful. Can you see it? Can you, can you sense it? Can you feel the texture? Visualize yourself striving and smiling in this place. Surrounded by a light that represents positivity. See yourself moving through your day with confidence and joy. Meeting challenges with courage and optimism. Angela Davis reminds us, she said, I am no longer accepting the things I cannot change. I am changing the things I cannot accept. Mm. Let me see that again. I am no longer accepting the things I cannot change. I am changing the things I cannot accept. Oh. As we bring this meditation to a close, slowly begin to bring your awareness back to the room. As usual, wiggle your fingers and toes, gently stretch your limbs. And when you're ready, Gently open your eyes. Carry the feeling of positivity and the power of your affirmations with you throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the month, throughout the year. 
you know, carry a few affirmations that are easy for you to remember and for you to put in place. I'll tell you, I have been using a lot of affirmation the last few couple of days, actually. I use them quite, quite often um, to center myself, to bring myself to a place of positivity, of a place where I'm able to recognize and accept and respond if necessary in calmness and with a positive outlook. Remember that staying positive isn't about and I've said this before, it's not about ignoring the less pleasant aspects of life, but rather choosing to approach them with a hopeful and optimistic spirit. Here is one of my other favorite quotes from the great Dr. Maya Angelou. Try to be a rainbow in someone's cloud. Try to be a rainbow in someone's cloud. I remember when I heard that quote, it just blew my mind. She said, and I'm paraphrasing, she said, you know, it's not that they haven't been clouds in my life but there have also been many people who have helped me along the way people who have been the rainbow in the clouds so you be the rainbow in someone else's cloud I often have um I don't want to say challenge, but I often have to let it be because when anyone stays in a negative mindset, I, 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 I'm challenged to see the purpose of it. I think recognizing that there is a challenge, recognizing that there is a situation, acknowledgement of it, we're not ignoring it, we're acknowledging it. But staying in a space of negativity, of anger, it does nothing good for your body for your mental health for the cells that send all these messages to our body so it can function the way our body functions our words have power the way we decide to be has power it's energy And it influences our decisions. It influences the people around us. So I am of the mindset that no matter the challenge, and sometimes there will be difficult ones, I I may say, oh, well, this is a, a light challenge, a medium, and a, whoa, you know. You recognize it, you know, you know. This is a, an issue, a problem, a challenge. And then move towards, okay, how do I move beyond this now? Right? Because it's, it's, 
it's about not not staying there because it doesn't the consequences of staying there doesn't provide any good results it doesn't help it doesn't up- uplift it doesn't clear the fog away So I'm usually, even within my family, when anyone is, 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 is determined to stay in that place of anger and, and, and frustration and, and negativity, I usually ask the question, I said, what, what good is it doing for you right now? Like, it's okay if you want to be angry, be be angry, be frustrated. Recognize it, acknowledge. And then let's, let's get on with it. Let's, let's, let's work towards the solution or let's work towards betterment. One of the... <laughs> My dad will kill me for saying this, but uh, he sometimes is, is is challenged to once he gets into this a certain mindset, it becomes very you know wounded person, and he finds it difficult sometimes to 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 overcome it especially if he deems a, 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 an injustice has been has been uh, um, performed against and I, I don't disagree with him at all I just don't want him to stay there very long because I know what it does to 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 people I know what it does to a person also um, so we try to get out of that space and when we can we try to be a rainbow in someone's cloud well my beautiful people um, thank you for joining thank you for taking part of this meditation and staying positive with positive affirmations. May you move through um, the rest of your day, uh, tomorrow, the week, as I said, the year, the month, um, with lightness and joy, empowered by words and wisdom. You know, we we have control of how we feel and what we do about it. Thank you all to our new subscribers. Thank you for being here. For those of you who have been here since the beginning, thank you for your continued support. Thank you for, you know, sticking in. <laughs> I know we're not going to always agree on everything, and that's okay. Um, But I am so privileged to have you be part of, 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 of this movement and to have graced me with allowing me to have this platform. And share ideas and thoughts and get them out there right get your feedback i thank you very much it is and continues to mean the world to me i will speak with all of you soon again namaste and until we speak again take care of yourselves wanna bathe myself